Did you know this was a cult product? I did not know that, but apparently there's hundreds of videos about this product. All I knew was I was perusing Pharmaca. I had recently tried a Willita product that I liked. It was a great price, simple formula, so I clicked Add to Cart. Well now, one ounce later, I really enjoy this product, so I'm here to present to you five reasons you might want to try this product. Now, let me give you some stats on the Wellada brand. It was started in 1921. This product is called Skin Food, the original ultra rich cream. It was so popular, um, but very dense. So they came up with a 2.0 called Skin Food Light Nourishing Cream. Now my stimulus for making this video jumps us right into point number one, which is price. On Pharmaco right now, the Wellada brand, everything that they make is 20% off. Well, you can double coupon with Wellness 20 and get it for 40% off, making it $8. I said $8 for one ounce. Now, in my perusings of the interwebs, I also noticed that Target carries it. 2.5 ounces for $11.39. Can we get a for a wonderfully effective, beautifully priced green beauty product. Number two is smell. Some people are turned off by the fact that in the ingredients list, the smell is listed as fragrance. Given the brand's ethos, uh, the word fragrance doesn't bother me at all. I like that it's a very lightweight, herbally smell with a touch of citrus. They have a long history of being a natural brand using natural sourced materials. So like I said, the word fragrance doesn't turn me off at all. That leads us right into point number three, which is their eco footprint. Now, what we're starting to see as a trend in green beauty is that it's not just ingredients being clean that are enough for anyone anymore. We want to see that from start to finish, meaning the whole circle, that the product is really environmentally friendly and sound um, for a consumer to purchase and support. Now, Waleda is one of those brands, like I said, that's a trailblazer in natural, organic, green beauty, and um, they've really been doing that for a long time, from their sourcing to their packaging, and now they've even partnered with something called TerraCycle, which will recycle their, um, their plastic and aluminum tubes. You just have to collect them, print off a label, and you're able to mail them back so they will be recycled. For, for many reasons, they are a great brand to support. Now, one thing that's kind of questionable is they certify all their products as natru.org certified. Well, it's actually an organization that they started with a bunch of UK companies to kind of give a little bit of meaning and distinction and clarification into natural organic products. Um, but when you go on their website, it's still a little bit vague about what their true meaning is. So take it with a grain of salt. However, the ingredients list is really simple. And that leads us to point number four, simple formulas. Now there is a slight difference between these two products and we'll go into that as we jump into the formulas. So this product is water, sweet almond oil, sunflower oil, beeswax, hydrolyzed beeswax, lanolin, a, an emulsifier, a stabilizer, um, some flower extracts, and then we have the um, ingredients, the components from essential oils listed. Now, this product, I believe, is a water in oil formula, meaning water droplets are suspended in oil, making it very dense and what some may even describe as greasy. Let me show you a swatch. You immediately see the, by how long it takes to rub in, you immediately see the lanolin and the beeswax coming through in that gorgeous shine that it gives. It's very occlusive. Now, I saw someone on Instagram question the alcohol and the fragrance. Now, the alcohol is probably related to the extraction of the extracts, and like I said, the fragrance doesn't bother me because we have the components from essential oils also listed in the formula. So, um, I feel like it's a very green product. Um, it is a very dense, um, rich formula, and if you don't love it as a moisturizer, it makes an amazing eye cream. Now, where we get into the difference with the light nourishing cream is that I believe, I can't confirm this, I'm just guessing, that it is actually an oil in water formula, meaning oil droplets are suspended in water, making it much more light 
and nourishing. However, they have stayed very true to the nourishing factor of it. It does contain shea butter and cocoa butter. It contains a different emulsifier and a preservative. So you can see um, it's much different in texture and finish. Um, but it does have that same lovely light herbal scent um, and it does have a same simple ingredients list and it is also very nourishing. However, I've got to say I really love the original for its occlusive nature. Now, that leads us to point number five. <laughs> These are all great, right? But does it work? Yes, it works wonderfully if you know what you're using it for. So like I said, it's a very dense, nourishing formula. It can really help you cut down on the products you're using. So one of the things about the oils that they use, the sunflower oil and the sweet almond oil, is that they're very skin-loving oils. And I think sometimes we, as we ex delve into this area of using all these exotic things in green beauty, we forget that there are oils that the skin loves. And sunflower oil being as high in vitamin E and linoleic acid makes it such a great oil for a moisturizer. It's also very abundant, making it a very inexpensive oil to use. So we have a very logical, skin-loving formula in this. A little goes a long way. I find that depending on the day and how you've prepped your skin, that it does play well under makeup. So I just wanted to come on here today and talk about this product because of the fact that I feel like as I've tried this product, as I've investigated this brand, this is kind of where Green Beauty started and it's kind of where it needs to go back to. Um, great products, great price, and really knowledgeable in the use of plants. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on Friday. I'm making Friday videos now, crazy, huh? All right, thanks for watching, bye.